Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome back to more Humankind. Now playing as the French, which seems to be going really well for me. My science is rapidly starting to increase. We're not too far off on being able to unlock things like a steam engine. We did conquer another city as of the last video. I'm a little concerned about the Zulu making a push against me in the near future. That would not be very fun, but, uh, you know, we'll see what happens with that. Um... As far as armies, I guess we go ahead and start sending these guys up to the north, and hopefully this doesn't come back to bite me, and I separate my guys too far away from the Zulu, but eh, we need to be ready to go to war against the, um, I guess now they're the Mexicans, if the opportunity comes up and I can take another city. Science means I just finished Steam Engine outright. Thank you. That's pretty nice. Uh, what science do we want now? Great question. Been thinking about this a little bit. Um... Siege cannons are nice, but we don't necessarily need it because I'm not that far off from being able to unlock some upgraded siege equipment, right? Or am I? Wait a minute, where is it? Ah, there it is. Military coordination, the howitzer. Of course, you need a lot more saltpeter for that to work, but I mean, that's a thing. Um, academy we can't use. Labor charter we don't care about. That was a feature we never used, sacrificing pops to construct something. And, I mean, cancel uh, reducing civic costs isn't so bad, but eh. Eh. Nationhood, great for defense. Scientific method doesn't get me much, believe it or not. Because we can't get fertilizer plants. This only reduces industry a little bit. And symposium, five science, is not a lot. I get way more from other things. Mechanization, now maybe. I mean, cheaper units across the board could be a thing. But we're going to need a lot of coal for this to work. And we start getting a ton of pollution. And pollution at some point is going to become a major problem. But I mean, like, look at this. So much more industry, workers, and so on. More industry from tiles producing industry. And all we need is coal. But I'm pretty sure we found coal. So we're going to go for mechanization next. So that'll take five turns. After that, I think we do whatever it takes to start getting up to my unique unit. Which, unfortunately, will require me going down some texts that are kind of outdated and I may not care about. But I mean, extra city cap here, you know, that's not so bad. Flintlock I don't need, but it gets me the next upgrade for forts and stuff. Not to mention the Mana War, and, you know, that's fun. Dragoons. Yeah, a moving fire unit. That could be kind of nice. I don't know. There's some options there. I do need to worry about getting guilds and mercantilism at some point, too. But for now, for now, we live with it. I don't think this ship literally will be able to survive the uh, circumnavigation unless we find a lot more shallows, by the way. We got a long way to go here. This would take several turns. I don't think he would live. We may actually not be able to do that. We have to turn him around and just go elsewhere. So, let's start going back down this direction. See if we can figure out where the city is. I'll bet you he's like right there on that hill. I want to meet you. I want to be friends, spend some influence, and start trying to integrate more cities. Is that really such a bad thing? I mean... We are kind of being a colonial power, so I'm sure depending on who you talk to, yeah, it's a horrible thing. But uh, don't worry about that too much. It's fine. It's fine. So we're getting plenty of food. We're going to get some more industry. Then we should definitely be getting the coal. In fact, I might even prioritize that slightly just so we can start getting the resource. And down in Memphis, same deal. We already had identified some coal over there. So let's make sure we place this down and get that going too. We can finish up the science, I suppose. This is still worth a lot, but before working on the Eiffel Tower, I say go for it. Thebes is doing a pretty good job working on that. Afterwards, we can go ahead and start getting a load of science here, too. Good lord, this is powerful. Very, very strong. Also, there's train stations. You get industry per adjacent maker's quarter, which can be nice. It creates some pollution, but what it really does is generate rails between other train stations so you can quickly move your units from one area to another, kind of connecting the continent together, allowing me to move my units to the front lines rapidly if I have to. I mean, that's obviously good. Okay, um, just go ahead and end turn, not think about it too much. Some populations are going up. More osmosis science. Doink, thank you. Okay. I need to join these guys up in one army. We talked about that before. That should reduce how much we are paying in maintenance. And in fact, it did. So that's good. We'll end up moving you guys up over here, I suppose. If we want to go and fight these guys, we should be able to do it pretty quick. I mean, I'd be able to snag this away from the Mexicans, no problem. No problem at all. But what I don't have is siege weapons, still. Poison apples, part two. 
The sequel! We discovered that they aren't, in fact, poisonous, and we get 25 food on eight si uh, cities for 10 turns. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, it's probably gonna create a si Oh, hello. It's probably gonna create a situation of uh, having more population than I know what to do with, but still. Hey, marble, salt, and iron? Hmm. I want to claim this, but I guess we should try to go and meet you first so we can get this process going. Let's see what his units do. I'll bet you he's right here. You keep going around the shoreline. Maybe we can go along the Arctic Circle. Do you think there's uh, sh uh, shallow water on the Arctic Circle? That'd be nice. The Visigoths. That sounds aggressive. Oh, hello. Oh, God, he attacked me immediately. All right, retreat from that. But I'm going to go ahead and spend a fair bit of influence trying to get you to like me. Now, I did just use up a lot of influence. I'm not going to spend more than that. But we're going to start getting six um, trust from you per turn. So over time, you're going to like me. This is good. We ran a long way. Hello, Mimbanza Congo. I'm going to meet you too. Uh, I don't know if I want to spend too much more than this. Who else is, are they liking? The Mexicans? Oh, I can't allow the Mexicans to surpass me. Heck no. I'm going to spend a fair bit. So we're getting 10 per turn. The Mexicans have been playing the diplomatic game hardcore in this. Haven't they? Yeah. They don't like me because I'm competing with them. Well, hopefully I win that fight. Um, I still feel like we should probably try to snag a territory. Although, man, it would be nice to go ahead and settle a city and attach a bunch of stuff. Let's see what we'll be able to do. Okay. We have an idle army up over here. We found pearls. That's worth money per trader. Okay. Oh, well, let's, let's just go along the Arctic Circle and see if I can find a way to successfully na circumnavigate the globe with you without you dying. Mycenaeans are still Mycenaeans. Oh, gosh. Would you please stop? We're going to lose this unit now. Everyone hates me. Oh, gosh. What are they doing? They're coming down toward me, too. Ah. Ah. And the outpost is being ransacked at a distance? Oh, freaking heck, I can't even take advantage of the gemstones now. Ah! Where'd you come from? The Mississippians. Okay. Apparently, people don't like colonial powers. I'm a little worried. Things change. Uh, you the want non aggression pacts. Mm, no. no this will never happen. I mean, I could do trade luxuries and strategics with you, but that's kind of it, honestly. Um, food on river, we haven't done yet. We should do that. Money from trade, no. Science, probably a little bit. I feel like we need more districts. This still isn't a lot of industry. 20 here would be okay. Maybe we even get um, a train station set up. Yeah, let's let's set up a train station. I'm actually going to make that a highest priority. So this will create pollution, yes, but, but... If we can set up some more train stations, we'll be able to move units from over here way down over to the other side of the map. Or the continent, at least, if we have to. If the Zulu were to attack me, which I pray that they don't, but at least it gives us options. We should have our two coal, by the way. So once the tech is done that lets me start taking advantage of that, I'm thinking mechanization, uh, that will be a pretty huge boost for me. You can skip your turn and turn. I don't see much in the way of shallow waters up here. I'm a bit worried. The Mughals don't like me as much anymore. All right. Well, time to risk it over to the east. Ah, uh, this doesn't feel very good. Oh, no. I don't think he'll make it. If we don't find anything, I think... Yeah, no. No, we can't do that. Oh, freaking heck. Leave my settlers alone. Okay, so they really don't want me to settle a city is what I'm learning. Maybe, uh, maybe we should just run. Maybe we should not stay here until I can circle all the way around or something. Mississippi, huh? Still haven't found your city, so I don't even know what's going on over there. Um, alright, so are we catching up? Answer's no. But we will if we do this. And I think we can get into the next round and lock these guys out. Toledo, you like me a lot more now. The Visigoths, they're violent. You don't say... I need to save a lot of influence, though, because integrating them is going to be expensive. 16,000 influence? Woof. That's quite a bit. World language. Science on eight cities. Money. 
or faith? Obviously science. I mean, this is literally just gonna be another 160 science per turn. Doink. So now we're up to about 2,700. That's pretty good. Um, and we haven't even gotten several different buildings in my capital. Oh my God. Yeah, my capital can get a lot more science. Way more science. Holy crap, more science. Jeez, dude. All right. Who's got time to work on a military infrastructure, you know? Who ain't, who's got time for that? Train spotter. Looks like the Mexicans built the first railways. Darn it. I'm, I'm close to catching up on some of these. Not there, but I'm getting close. Another Osmosis event. Science? Yes! Free tech. Doink! Thank you. Supply lines. Boom. All right. Well, we're moving my settlers out of the way for the moment until I can get somebody to like me. Maybe we settle up to the north instead. Maybe. These guys absolutely despise me. It's one of the reasons it's so expensive. Mbonza Congo, for example, is a kinship to me though. Look how much cheaper it would be if I can get them up to the next level. We can integrate these guys pretty darn quick. So yeah, I'm thinking pretty soon we'll be able to take on Mbonza Congo, and at least that will give me a base of operations. Not to mention some units. And yeah, we're now going to surpass the Mexicans. They keep triggering migration events and stealing my pops. Oh, what's this? Pollution. Hello. So, 45 pollution per turn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's going to be a thing for a bit. Place on a train station over here, I suppose. That's a pretty decent spot. Let's do that. Higher priority right now. Eiffel Tower, no longer priority. Thebes can finish it off. Yeah, let's let's get some extra transportation. Parsa, actually, same deal. I don't really want to place it up here on the front line because I feel like it could send my units into a battleground to die. Whereas if I set up over here... And we could build a couple more industri... No, I can't place industrial districts there. No. Okay, what I can do is place this here, and maybe place an industrial district here later, and I'll get some extra industry as a result. But let's make this the higher priority. I want transportation. Okay. Han Xiong, you already finished a lot of this, huh? All right, how about science? 23. 20? And 17. Not as much, but you know. I'm just looking to see what I would gain. Uh, we should probably get more industry... I guess science here, and then maybe more food here. Yeah, we can do all of that. Lots of districts. We have plenty of stability, so I mean, who cares? We got so much infrastructure. Yeah, you can't figure out how to get over there. Um, we're just going to go ahead and explore more to the west then. Let's just find out what else is going on in this continent. Maybe we can find more places to settle that don't have a whole load of rambunctious, super aggressive AIs. Okay. Next turn, we surpass Mexico. I'm getting this city, dang it. We got two more city cap. I got settlers with no idea what to do with themselves. We're gonna explore up to the north. See if we can figure it out. So, um, pollution is one of those things that the AI, I think, will either care a lot about or not at all. And uh, that can be a bit tricky for me to deal with. Commons quarters are cheap or garrisons are cheap. Um, commons quarters can get you more stability than a... Uh, can give you more stability than a garrison, but I think garrisons are consistently going to be really good for me, and I'd like to make those super cheap so I can build them. For defense as well as stability, just so I can build, place down more districts. Districts, as a general rule, just seem better, by the way, than a lot of infrastructure. Okay, more ambergris. There's good stuff up over here. There's a lot of resources I could take. If I could get some units. Oh, gosh. Okay, there's also in another independent city we got to go meet. <sighs> okay. No, no, I mean, that's... That's fine. Um, we've surpassed Mexico here, too. The Visigoths... Wait, you're telling me I can integrate them pretty easily, too? Well, there we go. If I can... In fact, if I can get this in a couple of turns, maybe they can stop trying to ransack my stuff. Or I'll use your... I'm gonna use my your units to imme... What? Use your units to immediately... Okay, move, move, move. Run, run, run. Use your units... <laughs> To rebuild the outpost you're trying to destroy. We finished the Eiffel Tower. 
Excellent. I could claim the Statue of Liberty, too. This would get me a little bit. I guess we could claim it. But I could also wait for another arrow and get maybe better stuff. I just don't think I need this. I don't think this gets me much because my culture is so... That's not true, actually. Wait a minute. As I expand to the east, I'm getting lots of stuff. Maybe this isn't bad. Okay, I've convinced myself. Get the Statue of Liberty. We're moving to the east, and I should be able to get a lot of territories of my culture over here. Yeah! Why did I think of that? That's smart. All right, let's see. How's your population? You're stable at 22. Not bad. What else could I get you? Well, a stoneworks wouldn't be terrible. And then probably just science. This is better. Surprisingly. This would be pretty good, and this would be pretty good. Gosh dang, we go crazy on science. Your stability is actually pretty terrible. I didn't realize that. Let's prioritize first getting that fixed with an aqueduct. Because they don't even have aqueducts. <laughs> oh, just sad. My new cities are way more advanced. Civic Osmosis. No, I just got something better than this. No. No, no, no. I am Refusion. I will not do it. Sup, bud? Moogles? It seems like you don't like me that much. You feel aggressive. Hmm. Is that so? Um... I'll buy your marble. Sure. I got lots of pops doing stuff like that. Civics Osmosis, again. Can we please get rid of these events? I can't write... Okay. Influence if territories follow the state religion. I don't think I ever actually did anything with this, did I? Open-mindedness? No, not that one. Not that one. This one. Oh, this is grievance against people of a different... Right. This just gives me more war opportunities. I guess I'm okay with swapping to open-minded. Yeah, alright. This is okay. Sure. I mean, I, I, out of principle, I hate that they force it on me, but at the same time, meh. We'll live. Gosh, you don't even have a grain silo. Um... So behind on so many things here. Get another district. Sixteen science here. Wow. Well, yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. Mm. Oh gosh, Gimli. Well, I don't really know what to do in that city, to be honest. Oh, the Mexicans snagged this one. Okay, so we're getting nothing over there. So the Mexicans are officially on the continent now. Hi, Toledo. What's up? Apparently, we are losing some steam with you. But it's still going up. I'll bribe. Yeah, let's keep that going. Mbanza Congo. One more turn and we should be able to integrate you. Somehow, this got a lot more expensive because the tolerance has gone down. Okay, but I still have the influence, so next turn, maybe I can steal this as a city. Integrate. Doink! Thank you. Alright, so we got Mbanza Congo. Toledo, a few turns away still. Very expensive. I don't know why this keeps shifting in costs so much. But all right, whatever. So, hi, I get free units with you. I need to go claim some outposts. I could also go and kill you so you can't claim any outposts. I don't know why I just got a star for that. I just joined these guys together. Okay, he's running away, that's good. Oh, we found a natural wonder. Okay. Apparently this is worth a lot. 21 and 9? Hmm. Sure. Place that down. Then start going over here. Let's see if we can snag some more resources and feed these off to Mbanza Congo. Settlers, you know what? You're going on a great pilgrimage. Alright? I don't even know where you're going, but you're going up here. You're gonna go find a place, and hopefully you can call them home. Someday. Uh, let's see, in Ioclos, we can get a pretty hefty amount of science. 
Mm, commons quarter. I would lose a little bit of stability, but not that much. Yeah, I'll get rid of it. Your stability is not great, but it's going up. You need food. You want industry. And I guess extra worker slots could be pretty helpful to me right now. We're still making a lot of money because no one's attacking me. In Mbanza Congo, you need so many things. Founding cities is way easier than just taking them from these guys, but I don't want to conquer them, so... All right. Do you have much in the way of, like, woodlands and stuff? It doesn't look like it, no. So you don't gain a lot out of this. Might gain a little out of stoneworks, but I think we'll probably get a lot more out of just basic districts. 14 food there. 12 industry improved with the stoneworks later. And then the emblematic district I think we wait on for now. And Bonza Congo is not very good. But it was a free city, and I can attach a bunch of territory and make it good. All right? That's the thought. Let's keep explaining, exploring over here to the west. Really wish we could have gotten something up over here. There's so many luxuries that I want. Will be very helpful. Carbine has been researched. We now have Dragoons. Another Osmosis event happens over here. Thank you. Doink, that saves me a whole turn. Cultural conversion. Baboop will enter the sphere of Mexicans. I don't even know where Baboop is. So in Memphis, uh, it looks like we've basically just kind of hit... Um, like, equilibrium. We had that event expire, I think, that was giving me lots of free food. I still don't need more influence or stability, I think. I mean, influence is okay, but I don't think we need it. A high furnace and then just lots of science. Let's not even worry about it. Thebes, you obviously need to build a Statue of Liberty at some point. And it looks like it has to be built off in a shallow area. Where would I place it? You know, my capital hasn't had a chance to have a, um, a wonder yet. Let's place the Statue of Liberty over there. Yeah. Low priority, science comes first, but there we go. We're almost up to 3,000 science per turn. I have no idea how that uh, compares to other people. Money on territories that they follow foreign religions or stability. You know what? Money. Maybe that ends up being good for me. I guarantee you there's territory that's not following the right religion. Oh, this is Baboop, following under the... Really? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and attach this. There we go. City is looking a little bit better all of a sudden. Not by much, but a little bit. Can we place down another outpost up over here? Yes. That said, would we rather get up over here? Depends. This has marble and salt and iron. This is horses and I don't know if anything else. Yeah, let's just go ahead and try to claim this territory and see if we can hand it off. Although, I wouldn't be surprised if these guys attack me again. So, have you found, like, a really good spot for a city? I mean, 18 and 16, 25, 9 and 25, yeah, I mean. But there might be more stuff up here. We have to explore more of this area. Obviously. Okay, Mbanza Congo's getting there. Toledo is not yet in integration territory. Oh, good lord, I'm actually really scared to move forward with these guys. We might just get jumped on. I don't think I can go there. Turn around. Run. Go this way. There's gemstones and stuff down here, you know? Ooh, also saltpeter! Also, Mongols! Kill them! Kill them! Kill them! Why can't you? Darn it. Yes, I can! I don't know why he's staying to fight. I'm gonna turn on automatic battle. Just let them do their thing. Wait, what do we have here? Oh, Mongol horde units. These guys are ranged um, cavalry, and they do a surprising amount of damage and are really annoying to deal with. Also, automatic battle off. You're all idiots. You're like not even actually attacking. What are you doing? Let's move you out of here for now. We need to move this archer back. We can run forward with our uh, immortals. No, sorry, pikemen, whatever they are. And they'll kill uh, cavalry units, no problem. Ah, oh, technically the turn. Okay, well, that's stupid. But anyway, Saltpeter is a big deal. I have something. Hi, Mongols. You want a non-aggression pact, huh? You know, I actually could, I can consider that with you. 
Attacked me, attacked me. I, th there's definitely a lot of grievances, all right? I hear your complaints. I hear your complaints and I think they're fair. At the same time, I hate you and go away. I mean, they're the Mongols. I don't trust the Mongols. Do you trust the Mongols? I could demand money. But the thing is, I don't know if you are going to settle up some outposts that I want. So at least for now, I'm going to refuse. No. Of course, it's not helping to, like, make zero friends right now, but, you know, whatever. Okay, we found some silk and some coal. I mean, it's looking a bit better all of a sudden. Okay, found a lot more good space over here. 723, 13, 8. They're recommending I settle up over here, and I can see why. 19 and 23 is obscenely good. What if we set up an outpost over here somewhere? It's got to be a really good spot to settle up an outpost, like 8 and 21 over there by the river. Yeah. Turn around, settle an outpost, and then if we move over here and settle a city, we could attach these. And if I can take Toledo, we can feed Toledo a lot of this territory, and Mbanza Congo gets all of this. All right, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to future-proof my cities. Okay, that's all I'm trying to do. Uh, you can go over this way. You'll be fine for a little bit. Okay, over here. Oh crap! I ended my round. I meant to attack. Just go ahead and finish him off. Why didn't you finish him off? What is wrong with the AI? How stupid are you? Kill him! It literally is not attacking with several units. You'll pardon me if I'm a bit frustrated by that. All right, not a lot of food to be had over here, but who cares? Lots of industry. And it gets me strategics I care about. We need to get down here, for sure. Set up that outpost, add it to Mbanza Congo. Yes, yes, you can't do anything because you are in the range of a fight. It's fine. The hard knock life for us. Child education for civics. What is this? Researchers get extra research, or workers. Mm. Research or industry, I mean... I guess we could do this, or we could compromise. Science investing, gain science on a lot of targets and lose a stupid amount of money. Parsimonious, that's the word that I had trouble saying earlier. So I have to force a choice. Or we could concede and force labored. I... I don't really want to lose this much science. 270 science per turn. So I guess I'm going to have to compel. Compulsory schooling for every child. Yeah. Okay. Uh, up over here. Your stability is still fine. Could get more science, or I could get more districts. 12 industry is not a lot, but it goes slightly up by the virtue of having a train station somewhere. Like up over here. Yeah, that's better. Why am I not doing that? This is more industry, and five more hidden here on the train station. It's not being very forthcoming about that. Um... And get a little more food here, I suppose. Your population is sitting at 19 and no longer growing. I'd like to get you to at least 20 if possible, so a couple more districts there are fine. Although we actually could now absorb these cities together. It would just cost a lot of influence to do it. Probably not worth it, right? The only reason I think you absorb cities into each other is if you're at your city cap and you want to continue to make them stronger. That's the only reason I see to do it. Gosh, this is so expensive. I mean, my patronage is so high, you should, like, stop attacking me, right? Their authority and tradition. Mm hmm Are you... You're not chasing down my settlers or anything, are you? Oh, God. They might be. All right, we'll try to retreat. This might be a bit of a risk. 
Uh, let's see, up over here, could get more industry going. 37's pretty good. 28 here, but it's actually technically more because it gets to the train station. Yeah. And then I think we go ahead and help out with the Statue of Liberty. Uh, actually, we get food first, because you're starving in four turns. We can prevent that entirely. However, let's also note that you are losing a lot of stability. So technically, we actually want to do it probably like this. Let's get that stability back up there, fix the food issue, then start getting a load of industry. Thebes, what are you working on right now? Okay, you're not quite ready to go for that Statue of Liberty. You're still getting me a lot more science. Science, by the way, up to 3,400. Line formation done. That's a unique unit. All right, 2,000 more science. I got to figure out what to do. We could get chivalry for free. Also, naval art artillery and stuff. Electricity, cheaper markets, quarters, and coal generators. It looks like this... I don't know if this is something I need to build, but I don't think so. I think just straight up, by having coal, we make everything better, every single quarter better. That seems good. Coal plants, too. Oh, yeah, we can get 20 industry per city. Yes. So, if we want to do that, we have to get nationhood first, apparently. Really? No, we have to get encyclopedia first. Oh, darn. Yeah, I guess it's the only thing that leads to nationhood, isn't it? But what if we went for the scientific method? We already established that this doesn't do me any good either, didn't we? Unless we get the saltpeter up, which we, we will. Ah, uh, I mean, saving influence is nice. Yeah, okay, the academy will be good, because we're about to get a second level of saltpeter, and this means we'll be able to build academies and get a lot of science. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's fine, it's not that bad, it turns out it's pretty good, in fact. Let's go for some food on a river. The industry on a river. I see a river through here, we can build a couple things over here if we want. Your industry still is terrible, though. Why does a grain silo need to take 11... It's level 2, I guess, but still, it takes 11 turns to build. Doesn't that seem excessive? Just build districts for now. Districts are still generally going to be better. Alright, so you can now run off this direction. Oh god. Alright, well hopefully they don't notice. Over here... I still want you to set up an outpost. Let's go do that starting now. So we'll get copper, gemstones, porcelain, saltpeter. We can add that to the city and make this significantly stronger. That's pretty good. Toledo is one turn away from being able to be annexed, but they're gonna cost 16,000 influence to get, which is kind of a lot. Osmosis event again. Nope, never mind. It's just a thing that popped up. You, however, are going to guess... Yep, founding myths. Good lord, go away. Population loss. Yeah, we're evening out over here. Get a bit more food and solve that problem. Keep the population growing a little bit. But right now, I'm just trying to go for a lot of science. We've got almost 500 industry in Mykene. That's not bad. Thebes is at 640. Memphis, 540. Okay, Parsa. You still need a lot more science buildings too. How does this keep happening? I just keep discovering new scientific wonders. It's amazing. Ioclos, we haven't even taken a look at you in a while. Your exhibition hall's coming along nicely. Your industry sucks and you're starving. Mm-hmm. We should probably go for things like the artificial reservoir so you can get some food and stop starving. <laughs> Um, get as much industry going as possible, get as much food going as possible, and I guess I'll take some money generation, sure, we're a little bit low. We're doing good on science, I really think we may want to start reworking all of my population. So I start making tons of cash instead of nothing but science. But the science has been nice, we're starting to catch up on some really important tech. Like, we're getting there. If I can get to this electricity and make every single quarter... I built a lot of districts, okay? If I can make every single quarter a teeny bit better, that's pretty big. What's guerrilla warfare going to do for me? Partisans. 
Yeah. We'd have to get nationhood first. Well, we're already working on that. We could upgrade our stuff a bit more. What about microbiology? Hospital stability per researcher. I need more salt, Peter. Don't have that. Mass vaccinations. Uh. Stability per population on all cities. Holy crap. That's a lot. Combustion engine for oil. Don't have any. Population consumption. No. And farmers are cheaper. Eh. Urban planning. Commons quarters. No. City cap. Yes. Police forces. Eh. All right. Well, we need to end this video here, but um, progress is made. A city is taken. We're going to be growing and getting a lot of resources. If I can get Toledo and control this entire chunk of this continent, we're going to be looking really good. Mexico has set up a city over here. So they're competing with me for this continent. But you know what? That's fine. I'll take this continent and I'll start outproducing the crud out of the Zulu. And if I can get a tech production uh, uh, advantage and then start producing lots of units, we might even say, screw it, let's go attack them. Well, let's get these guys out of here. They've been dominating my culture for way too long. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.